how to host website on Infinity Free. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can host website on Infinity Free. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is to open your browser and kindly go to infinityfree.com or you can simply click the link on the description below and upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page in which it will show you the details about this platform. And if you don't know Infinity Free, it is a web hosting provider that provides or offers a free web hosting services to individuals and small businesses. And also, it provides users with the ability to host websites on the internet without incurring hosting fees, in which Infinity's free services are intended to be cost-effective solution for those who want to create and publish websites without the expense of traditional web hosting. And now, to access this platform, all you need to do is to click this register button on the top right corner and you will be directed on this page in which to sign up for Infinity Free. Just enter your email address, generate your password, and proceed by clicking the sign up button below. And upon signing up, the next thing that you need to do is to verify your email address. So just go to your email inboxes and proceed by clicking the verify email address button right here. And you will be directed on this page in which this is what the homepage looks like of Infinity Free. And from here, you will see on the top panel of it some of the options that you can navigate including the home, profile, accounts, free SSL certificates, site builders, domain checker, knowledge base, and community forum. Well, under this homepage, you will see the hosting accounts and below it will show you that no accounts yet have been created. And to create an account, kindly click this button right here. And you will be directed on this page which from here the next thing that you need to do is to choose your domain name and also the domain type and i'm going to select the sub domain and after that you can input or enter your name here as your domain name while under the domain extension you can simply choose any of those extension and proceed by clicking check availability button below in which upon clicking on it you will be directed on this page and it will show you that the domain that we just enter is available well the step two is to enter some of the additional information including the account username however it is now generated automatically so from here all you need to do is to generate your own account password and you can choose a unique password between 8 to 15 characters that contain letters and numbers only and after that just proceed by clicking the create account button below in which upon clicking on it you will be directed on this page and now for the step 3 it will show you that your account has now been created and before clicking the open control panel you could also click the finish button below here and after that from here you can start navigating some of the options on the left side panel including the home the domains ftf details and many more and now to proceed, just click the control panel option on the top panel. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed in this page. And from here, it will show you the two options that you can choose, such as I approve and I disapprove. And in those options, kindly proceed by clicking I approve button right here. In which upon clicking on it, you will be directed in here. In which below here, it will show you a lot of options in each category including the preferences you can navigate the update contact email account settings getting started and account upgrades while under the file section you can see and navigate here the online file manager directory privacy free ftp software and many more while under the databases you can see here the php my admin my sql databases and many more while under the software you can see here the Softaculous app installer and alter PHP configuration, in which by navigating those options, you will be able to start hosting using this infinity free platform. And aside from that, you can see here on the right side panel the statistics in which the disk free that is available is almost 5 gigabytes, which is actually a huge amount that is also offered for free. Now, if you want to upgrade your plans or your account, 
kindly click this button on the left side panel, in which upon clicking on it, it will show you some of the plans that you can avail to make your account premium in those plans including Ultimate Premium Hosting and Super Premium Hosting. And you will see the corresponding prices on each plan and below you could also choose your payment terms such as monthly or yearly and for the third step which is to search for your free domain name and proceed by clicking the submit button and for the payment methods they also accept visa card mastercard or paypal american express alipay and other payment options now going back to this page from here, the next thing that we need to do is to go to the files or online file manager in which by simply clicking on it, it will direct us in here. And from here, it will show you some of the documents that contain a code or algorithm that we could also use in hosting in this infinity free platform. And below option, you could also upload a code in here from your computer files, download another option that you could also do using some of those options on this panel and aside from that if you want to edit the files that are already here all you need to do is to right click on any of those files and proceed by clicking the edit option however you could also navigate some other options including to download this file copy the name create zip archive rename or even delete this file and now to edit this file can you click this edit option in which you will be directed in here however we only see here all white but some of the file contain a code or algorithm that we can also access or edit and we can use those files as a reference in hosting a website in this platform so this is basically a manual process of hosting a website in this platform which is also by the help of uploading a code or a file from your computer now going back to this page in hosting a website using a template all we need to do is to go to the software section, kindly click this Softaculous app installer, and upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. From here, it will show you some of the application or platform that can help you to provide a template, and in those options, I'm going to choose the WordPress. And below here, it will show you the overview of this platform, and now to proceed, just click the install button. And after that, the next thing that you need to do is to fill out this admin username, so let's say I'm going to enter here sample and you could also customize the title of your site name and after that below here the next thing that you need to do is to select a theme in which from here it will show you a variety of theme from WordPress that you can choose in hosting a website. So in those options I'm going to select this one and proceed by clicking select theme. And after that from here the next thing that you need to do is to proceed by clicking the install button right here. And after that, the next thing that you need to do is to wait for it to load until it's successfully being installed. And after that, you can now visit your domain by simply clicking on this link below. Or you could also click the administrative URL to customize your hosting domain. So that is just how you can host website on Infinity Free. Thank you.